Happy Friday before Thanksgiving, Funko family. It's fantastic to come to you today as we prepare for such a wonderful time of the year, one that allows us uh, and compels us to reflect on all of God's many blessings. And also just a reminder um, by way of reflecting on those blessings that this Sunday after church, we have a charge conference. And in that charge conference, we'll talk about um, all of the challenges that uh, the church has faced and will face going forward, as well as, and most significantly, all of the amazing blessings that God has has laid at our feet, um, not just this year, but but historically, and, and that we know he'll continue to, to bless us going forward. And it caused me to kind of think a little bit about just that, Thanksgiving, and what are, what are we, in, in my case, what am I um, supposed to be thankful for as it relates to our church. And there's some obvious things. I'm super thankful for you, for a congregation that continuously loves and blesses Carol and I um, really every day of our lives. Uh, what an amazing connected family we have. Thankful for a pastor who is a shepherd who guides us uh, and, and leads us on our walk every single day, whether he's physically present with us or not. And for things that I know he's doing that you're soon going to learn about that will only enhance that and, and will you know, make that walk um, even more meaningful and, and more effective for all of us. Thankful for a preschool that is the most amazing preschool uh, in the city of Orange and, and in my opinion, in the, in the entire world. Uh, yes, I'm biased, but I, I'm just so thankful for a thriving, thriving preschool. I'm thankful for a church and preschool staff that um, continue to do their work and do it in, in love and in service to God and in, in love and in service to our congregation as well. Um, what they do is, is nothing short of miraculous to me. Um, and so just incredibly um, blessed by, by them and thankful for them. Um, but I'm also thankful, and it's hard to be thankful, for some of the other things, some of the less obvious things. I'm thankful for um, uncertainty and the, the way that that draws us in to be um, more prayerful and more connected to God. I'm thankful for challenging finances that require us to dig deep, to assess the meaning of material wealth in our lives and ways that we can um, give and, and financially support God's mission in, in our lives and in our community. I'm thankful for the occasional disagreement, the ones that we've had and that I know we will have as we go forward because they remind us ultimately that we are loved and that we need to love. And so uh, as hard as it is in the moment, I'm thankful for, for those challenges as well and for all of the adversity that we experience and might experience. Um, going forward. Mostly, I'm thankful for a God who is living, who is present in our lives, and who loves us truly. And it draws me to 1 Timothy 4, um, 4 through 5, where it says, for everything God created is good, and nothing is to be rejected if it is received with thanksgiving. I love that. Um, because it is consecrated by the word of God and prayer. And again, that's 1 Timothy 4, 4 through 5. So as we go into this weekend and our preparation for Charge Conference and the Thanksgiving celebration that that will be, as well as Thanksgiving itself, um, I just want to wish you the best of the, of the week and of the season. And uh, I'm just looking forward to, to sharing this time on Sunday with you. Um, please join me in prayer. Heavenly Father, um, thank you so much for the things that we see in our lives that are positive and that feel wonderful, but also thank you for the challenges and the adversity that draw us closer to you and that make us um, just better at, at being Christians and that force us into the Bible and that force us into prayer and that force us to you know, pay more attention. Lord, I just uh, ask your blessing upon our congregation as we gather this weekend. And as we then go from that gathering into a week of thanksgiving and celebration of, of your many blessings. In your heavenly name I pray, amen.